and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Shen to start off Rank Up Sunday. We played this deck about four days ago and it was awesome. We went 5-0. To be fair, we had really good hands and I hope we have those kind of hands again. We, get to, uh, we were curving out really well with a lot of ones and twos. So hopefully that happens again. Um, for those of y'all watching later on YouTube, I am trying out a new cord now again, <laughs> another new cord, trying to fix the audio issues the best I can. Um, this one's being, this is a longer cord that's being plugged into the back of the CPU now instead of being plugged into my keyboard. So please leave those comments. Let me know if this is sounding better for y'all. I sure hope so. Um, all right. So anyway, uh, yeah, Garen Shen, uh, we're just going to be playing some good old Demacia stuff, Vanguard Bannerman, curving out, attacking, um, using uh, Shen's tricks with uh, being able to give units plus three, plus zero whenever they get barriers, uh, whenever it's leveled up, and Green Glade Caretaker, and just surprising opponents with doing a lot of damage that they're not expecting. We had another Demacia deck later on, the Lucian Elites, because we played the two Demacia decks recently that have both been awesome. And then we're also going to play some Plunder Control and Mid-Range Frostbite on our Rank Up Sunday stream. Last thing is tomorrow we're going to do our Call of the Mountain preview stream where we're going to be previewing all the cards. It's still the, it's, We may not have all 89 cards known by tomorrow, but whatever we don't know we'll do on Tuesday. Uh, we'll finish up that uh, preview stream on Tuesday. And then, of course, Wednesday... That's whenever Call of the Mountain will be live. And so Wednesday night stream, we will be playing with the brand new cards. And so we'll, we'll talk about during the preview stream, we'll talk about, um, you know, what kind of decks we want to make and everything. If y'all haven't uh, seen my preview stream before, basically we go through every single card and spend it a couple minutes on every single card talking about how we can use it um, and everything. So it's going to be really in-depth. And that's what we're going to be doing all of tomorrow. All right, well, we got Tracker into War Chefs. I do like Bannerman Shen. I, we don't have anything to do on turn three. But I think I still keep this. Obviously, we wish that one of these four mana cards was a three mana card. But they're both just too powerful of four mana cards. Darn. The good news is no remembrance. Turn three for them. So no, no purifies. Just wanted to be more proactive. Do not want to have too many. Um. <clears throat> too many reactive cards. So I'm just going to keep all three spell mana for the Prismatic Barriers instead of playing the Bright Steel Protector. And plus, it's better to have Shen in play first before Bright Steel Protector anyway. Um, and now this is going to allow me to have... So I go. Next turn, Caretaker plus Bannerman. So that's pretty nice. All right, they're going to be drawing four. So they'll have eight cards in hand. And one little 1-1, one, one, and we got our five cards, but then two real threats. Yeah, these little 1-1s one, are just doing a great job of slowing the game down for them and just uh, clogging up the battlefield. Um, no, I don't. I wouldn't say the bird pet's necessarily my favorite. I think it's a, you know, it's a good Demacia one here. You know, this kind of looks like Demacia with Ionia as well. Your place is I think it fits pretty well. Eat up, friend. Safeguard our citizens. Shen is at two. Oh man. 
Man, that's a good draw, but... <clears throat> this is tough. Because I can do... Bright Seal Protector, which is three. Shen Attack, four. So we have... We can level up Shen. And we can also have single combat available. Or we can just play this awesome six drop. But then we're not leveling up Shen. And tough call. Yeah, no ruination right now. Definitely very important. Our decks, obviously, we're really bad against ruination. And it's the kind of card that it's really hard for me to even just play around in general. You know, even if they just have Ruination next turn, it's going to be a lot of trouble. These Hapless Aristocrats were awesome at slowing me down. We've only dealt two damage so far on turn six. That is not ideal for us. Their pride will cost them. Probably challenging Lux, of course, as they get to level up Thresh. So, well, Thresh is at zero. So actually, that's going to be two, three, four. So no, they don't get to level up Thrash. Okay, never mind. Thrash is at zero. Big Alfredo, good morning. We can do this. Hmm. Who does not know the name Laurent? We gotta do nine damage. Alright, Shen's leveled up. We get to use this Prismatic Barrier as a pump spell now. Hopefully this works. Just gotta do nine damage. We got all these attackers. I mean, they're still taking ten. They're at nine. So that sounds good to me. GG's one and zero. That means victory for us. There we go. Garen Shen is 1-0. 
Okay, nice, big Alfredo. Is it is it gonna be a is it gonna be a deck before the new set or after the new set? I'm not sure how much more we'll be playing before the new set. We'll probably have a few decks on Tuesday. Okay, before new set? Okay. So we'll have that for Tuesday. Alright, let's mulligan this Elm Hard. Def definitely want two mana card. But it's hard to mulligan these ones. Tracker and Protege, I'm, I'm absolutely keeping. Bannerman, I could mulligan. But I think we just look for a two mana card. We have. Sweet. I was gonna say we have uh, three draws. Wow, we're great at dr drawing two mana cards. We have three draws into a two mana card. We're gonna be going with the Bright Steel Protector. My shield is yours. Giving the tracker a barrier. Allowing it to challenge. I think I'm just going Protege into Bannerman. Ooh. Never mind. I am not going Protege into Bannerman anymore. This would be a good winter. Okay. Because we're going with multiple bodies, we're getting the Caretaker in play and the War Chefs, and now we'll go Bannerman. Gotta get rid of the Starlets here to keep them from pumping up stuff so much. Alright, so we're gonna have you attack, you attack, you attack, you attack, you attack. Challenge here. Alright, who wants to challenge this 2-3? Uh, we'll have the 3-3 three, three. do that. Eat up, friend! Eat up, friend! All right, Starlet's here, not down, not yet. But they're down to eight. Good chance we're going to be killing them next turn. Like fish and water. <laughs> so I'm gonna be playing single combat. Alright, sounds good, Agent Iowa. So that so tomorrow, yeah, so hopefully we'll have a bunch of reveals by tomorrow, and then we'll be able to um... Alright, do we go just straight to combat? How are they stopping all of this anyway? If I go straight to combat? I don't know. How would they stop it if I play Genevieve Elmhart first? Probably not either. I mean, it's probably just better to still display Genevieve Elmhart. Wait, the, the new champion is named Soul? Or A Soul? 
not Soraka? Yeah, everybody's been saying Soraka. Never lost a fair game. Dead in their tracks. Oh, I forgot about Twisted Fate. So that that made not going to combat worse for me. Still, any two of these getting through is lethal. They can block two with these two, so they need two mana to get rid of another. And I don't think they have any way to do that. So they're taking nine, and they're at eight. And GG. Oh, really? In soul. Okay. That makes a lot more sense, because I didn't know why, why there would be somebody called it. Just a soul. It's like, is it the soul or? <laughs> okay, Aurelian soul. So that's gonna be a. Well, there's only one more champion that we don't know about. There's only one more. Playing against Deep. All right, Mulligan, the top end. Ugh. Definitely our worst hand so far. That's our first time not starting on one drop and curving out. The first two games we curved out quite well. Deep is a deck where you definitely want to curve out. It's an important one, too. Assuming they're going to have the 3-2 lifesteal. I hope not, but that's my assumption. So remember this set, Call of the Mountain, has this first expansion, which is also self-named Call of the Mountain, but then we have two more expansions after this in October and then December. And so, Soraka, or, you know, like, whatever other champs, like, they could be in the other expansions, and not this one. I think we're still just going Garen next turn. We fight for those who so it'd be a lot nicer to have another mana to have some interaction still. Basically, the 3-3 the three, three Sergeant is the card that I care the least amount. So, like, if they're going to pair Wanderer with removal, I you know, like, with one kind of with some kind of removal spell, I want to protect Garen. I want to protect Shen the best I can. And if they use Wanderer for these things, that's okay. So this puts them down to 15 only. You cannot stall judgment. Puts it down to 13, but they'll keep the Thorny Toad alive. And then I'll keep War Chefs alive unless they Vile Feast the War Chefs. Okay. 
So Garen's going to be level up once we strike twice. It has now struck once. So we're probably going to be playing like single combat and concerted strike, like those kind of cards this turn, not Genevieve Elmhart. Looking at striking an additional time. Uh, do need to worry, worry a little bit about Devour of the Depths coming down to try to obliterate Shen. And so that would be an important thing for these concerted strike and single combat. Okay. That's not the case. But Abyssal Eye is still annoying. So it is certainly possible. Whoa! What's up, Fresh Lobster with the huge raid? Welcome, everybody. From the Lobster Crew. It is possible that they have Ruination, so I don't think that I should just play Genevieve Elmhart into that possibility, even though that would, you know, make everything a lot better. We're just going to just go to right to attacks here with our Garen. All right, so yeah, it's for those of y'all just joined in, we're doing our rank up Sunday streams. We're playing all pretty good decks today. We're starting with uh, Garen Shen, a deck that I have done really well with. I mean, Demacia is kind of my style, and I've really been doing well with the Shen decks as well. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so they got Nautilus here. They're a long ways away from... Uh, I guess not that long a ways away from being deep. They're down to 20. Uh, I could go repost on this thing and then Concerted Strike and kill Nautilus. Right? So I'm pretty sure that should work. Oh, no. We are not killing Nautilus, are we? If, if they can... Oh, is this just not even going to kill Nautilus? Justice hmm. for no one. All right, this may be kind of awkward. That was <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, well. All right, I don't. This doesn't actually kill Nautilus, but I'm still going to do it. Uh, no, do not put a space, Kitty Dexterity. Do not put a space between those. Yeah, so yeah, revealing a new card every hour today. Yep, that's what it looks like. Alright, Donut Man, have a good night. So a little awkward, I didn't actually kill the Nautilus. My bad. Just wasted two cards on that. Of course, they can have Jet Jettison is the card right now, or just Salvage. You know, Salvage or Jettison, either one of those will allow them to go deep. There we go, Kitty X30 with the big time cheers. Thank you so much. All 
All right, Nautilus dying in combat. That is not something you see very often. The chump block from the Nautilus. We still got some, some good stuff if they do have... Okay, I was going to say, if they do have Ruination, we still had some good stuff. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, we'll check out those new cards shortly. Let's see. Let's go. You support you, it supports you. You and you. You'll make all of these pretty good threats on their own. All right, three and O. Oh. A little awkwardness there in the middle. You fought with honor. But we are still victorious. So we're I play um So we play four different decks every day. Um we play five games with each deck. So we're at 3-0 right now. We're gonna be playing two more games. Hopefully getting the 5 0. And then after these two games, then we'll check out the new cards for today. That were just previewed. So we'll check those out. All right, playing against some scouts. Okay, do we keep Shen? So the most important thing with this deck is curving out. We want our ones and twos and threes. I'm going to keep Shen though, because it's just so powerful. Okay, we got our threes. Now hopefully a two drop. That's not a two drop. Hopefully two drop. Me having no kind of two drop or anything, the best I think the best case scenario. Oh well, there we go. So the best case scenario is those trade anyway. You're covered. So this means they can challenge my three two, or they can pass. Yeah, Nightfall Daybreak definitely looking pretty good. And I'm fine with that. I think the Nightfall and Daybreak stuff is pretty cool. I like that. <clears throat> Not like a great challenge for me right there. I like just passing and yeah, so like they wanted me to... Um, Let's go, Shen. Two worlds, one balance. I think they wanted me to challenge, and then they were going to play Misfortune afterwards. That's what I think was what what they wanted to do. Safeguard our citizens. Oh no! Our bannerman missed. That definitely hurts. The 
quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. And Shen Stand United isn't so good because of Misfortune taking down the barriers. That really hurt. No, I'm not Mythic. play Garen this turn, but I also don't want to play Garen uh, because then they can just challenge Garen with this 5-2 and that's a great challenge for them. It's going good. Going good. This game would have been a whole lot better for us if we would have hit that Bannerman. For sure. Oh my gosh. Well. Probably could just surrender. This is perfect for them. It's absolutely perfect. It's possible that we draw our third Garen, and then the third Garen can be Judgment. It's possible, I suppose. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Oh, that's the, that's the only thing that can save me right now. Is drawing third Garen, it's judgment, and that doesn't that doesn't actually really save me because this misfortune is gonna level up. So actually, that you know, because then they just attack with the Quinn. So yeah, now actually with having this Quinn, uh, yeah, we just die. Still hard. Well, that's a matchup that. I would love playing some more. That's a matchup I, I basically never lost, but you know, I guess we're gonna lose it eventually. Um, yeah, that's kind of the the way for us to lose is early misfortune. I don't have a challenger that can kill it, which is not something that happens very often. And then the Genevieve Elmhar plus um, plus rally. GGS. So you even you even lose your really favored matchups. That happens as well. I may keep this Elmhart actually, because Genevieve Elmhart is awesome. We have we have a great turn one, great turn two. We already got kind of a setup for turn three. Um, no, we'll we'll still Mulligan Elmhart. But basically, you know, like our the rest of the cards we're drawing was probably going to kind of fill in the middle, and it's really nice having that Elmhart at the top end. I'll play the tracker first because attacks for two if they don't have a one drop. What does he want from they me? did have a one drop. So never mind. Ouch. That 
one hurts. I gotta get out of here! Can you stomach this? Taste the glory! And so this block with the war chefs is perfectly fine because we can have the other war chefs pump up that one. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Yeah, my worst case scenario is they have Callista. Well, it would have been better to play Protege if they had, with them having Callista. Yeah, the expansion is yeah. So ranks, the ranks are going to reset, and the expansion expansion will go live same time on Wednesday. So they'll have downtime on Wednesday, and on that Wednesday, that's whenever both of those things are going to happen. Ouch! And now that kills both of these and levels up Callista. Well, never mind. This just got worse. I said we had worst case scenario with them having the Callista, but never mind, this got a lot worse. So yeah, then, then ranks will reset, and ranks will reset every two months uh, between expansions that will release every two months. Prey is so good. Underrated card. These old eyes still see far and clear. It's a great card too. Man, these last two games, just everything has not worked well for us. This is just... And a pretty big... Flat down, okay, so... Feel the sizzle! This, this means Grenadier and Warchef's trade for, for me doing this, but we get a barrier, which helps our caretaker, and also um, helps our Shen. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I honestly like all the champions. I mean, I, I both the Nightfall and Daybreak look really cool. Um, probably the the champion I guess I'm the most excited about I guess would be Lulu with the support grow an ally to be a 4-4 um, You know how I like playing Shen decks. It's definitely just right up my alley um, With another Ionia support card like that um, But yeah Tariq also looks good and then yeah Leona the, or Diana, no one. I think he's a Diana Both pretty awesome Onward. 
So my plan's barrier for the Shen, protect the Shen. Still have five cards in hand. Two out of four barriers. With me. That repose is pretty good. That's a good draw. Allows me to challenge and kill the Sejuani. Yeah, so they won't be they won't be even. We're only gonna have four Targon champs to start with. Um, so yeah, we won't have even even numbers. I like a lot of the other regions had four to start with, I suppose. And then you know, October we'll have three new champions. You know, probably one of those. You know, at least one is gonna be Targon, I assume. And then same with December, the the last the expansion in the Call of the Mountain set. We'll probably bring another Targon. Probably go up to six, but for now we're only gonna have four. Maybe they don't block. Well, the good news is we cleaned up all that and, and we have all this. The bad news is we are at one little life. And it's not difficult for them to do one point of damage. We have our single combat as our only defense. It's not going to be enough. I have disgraced the King Ku. So we had a lot go wrong there in the last two games of just cards lining up. Did not really catch any kind of breaks in those last two games, and so we did lose them. And you know, both of them. You know, maybe I could have sequenced differently. Like on that last game, like playing Protege on three instead of, uh, instead of Warchef's plus Greenglade Caretaker, that just really paid off poorly with them having the Callista and then having the the, Del the Greenglade Caretaker. So probably could have changed that. 
Um, but anyway, I think this deck's real strong. Definitely up my alley. Definitely the kind of decks that I like to play. And yeah, I recommend it if you like curving out with Demacia stuff and getting some neat tricks in with the Ionia cards. Uh, hopefully your Bannerman hits. <laughs> that was the game four problem. But there we go. That's Garen Shen. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you're excited about with the new set. Let me know how the sound is and uh, anything else. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.